Today we're going to go over how to restore information inside of groups and teams from AppPoint's Cloud Backup for Office 365. The first thing I'm going to do is enter into the Cloud Backup for Office 365 application. Next, I'm going to select the Restore option on the left-hand side of the screen. Then I can choose either the groups or teams information that I want to pull from. Here I'm going to select the Teams tile so that we can have a few more options to walk through. The next thing I'm going to do is search for my team. I can either do this by selecting the teams that I've recently looked at through the dropdown or typing in the name of a team. Here I'm going to use the Central West Sales team as an example. I can then search for that team for the entire team to be able to restore and further navigate through the information or I can choose the dropdown for advanced search and then choose the backup time range and the level of content I want to restore for that team. By choosing the backup time range, I can choose the point in time that I want to restore the content I'm looking at to. By choosing the level, I can dive into the different areas of the team at different levels. If I'm looking for information in the mailbox, I can choose the group mailbox or the folder in the group mailbox, or I can choose to search for a specific mailbox item. As I scroll down, I can then look through the SharePoint information for the group or team. I can choose the team site for SharePoint, a subsite or another site within that team. I can choose one of the lists or libraries to search for. If there's an application attached to the SharePoint information in that team, I can search for that application to restore it. I can also look for a SharePoint folder within a document library and I can search for a specific document. Lastly, I can look for the plan or task information associated with the team as well. Once I make my selection, here I've selected document, I'll have additional criteria to search for. At the document level, I can search for the name or any of the properties associated with the document as well. Now I can also browse the backup information for each of the granular backups that have been done. I'll see each set of data for the granular backups and be able to browse through the information that was backed up at each of those points in time. This will only allow me to select the incremental information that was backed up with that particular job. Here the recovery point is set. Once I know what I want to restore I can select that and then choose the restore option and I'm given options around how I want to restore this container. I can choose my conflict management options. I can choose the content level conflict the management options. And I can choose options around my versioning as well and conflict for any apps that exist. Now, when I go to the search bar here and search the items by the advanced search or the regular search dropdown, I'll have a few more options to further specify the information I'm looking for. So here I've chosen the document level for this team and now I see all the documents that were nested within this team at the time that it was backed up for this time range. Now you'll notice I have multiple recovery points here that I'd be able to choose if these documents had been modified for the different incremental backups. You can see here I have three different recovery point options for this particular document. Now I can choose to restore this document and have similar options around how and where I'm going to restore that information. Once I've chosen those options I simply select the restore button and the item I've selected will be restored according to my settings. Now if I want to change the level to a different area of the team that I'm looking to restore, for instance the mailbox information, I can simply choose the different level and then run a search for it and here I have the mailbox itself if I just want to restore that email box. Now I can also choose the folder or mailbox items if I want to see the specific mailbox items within it. Here is an email message within this team's Outlook email box. Again, I have the option to select that 
restore and then choose conflict management options to restore that in place. This video has been a how-to to restore the information associated with groups and teams in Office 365.